Nice work. Whoa. Hey, gang. Welcome, everybody. It just Welcome. made a fart noise. Welcome yeah, to... Yeah, it was the couch, though, right? That was yeah. the couch, for sure. Welcome, everybody, to the Heavy Leather Topless Dance Party. Yes! Yeah. 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 What a... What a show we have for you this this evening. I think it's I think it's going to be one of our, one of our wildest shows ever. Let me tell you all about it. But first, uh, let me introduce the gang. My name is Ken. You might know me as the frankly legendary rock and roll writer, Sleaze Grinder. Yes. And here they are, everybody. It's the last gang in town. To my right, there she is. It's America's showgirl. It's Elsa Riot. Yeah. To my left. There she is. It's the Chachi to my Fonz. It's the Jesse to my Walter. It's Stacy DC, everybody. Yeah. We're matching. Yeah. We finally yeah. coordinated. Very nice. To my, to my other left, there they are, everybody. It's the kings of the nighttime world. It's the Black Leather Lagoon. Oh, hey there. <laughs> and what an incredible evening we have for you tonight. Uh, we got rock and roll from Devious Intention. Can we get can we get a can we get a shot oh of Devious Intentions? God, need a shot. Yeah, you need uh, a shot. I'm overwhelmed. Look at that mic stand. The mic stand is incredible. One guy over there. We'll talk to the Bruins guy. He's the number one Bruins fan in uh, in Boston. Oh shit! We'll yeah. have a lot to unpack. How many people did they kill to make that set? Yeah, exactly. I that. need to know. Just thousands, thousands of yeah. perished. Let's hope. Also tonight. Uh, the incredible Adam Parisi sideshow extravaganza. This guy earlier, earlier this evening, this guy was showing showing us card tricks in the green room that I uh, I almost I almost passed out. I almost so good. They, they were so they were so mystifying. I almost couldn't stand it. I'm on the edge of my seat, as mm. you can see. I, it's the closest to pure magic I've ever experienced in my life. <sighs> okay, cool. I feel it. I, it's, I mean, it might just be magic, right? It sounds... It, sounds, it sure sounds like magic, doesn't it? It sounds like I'm overselling it, but I'm telling you, this man did stuff that seemed virtually impossible to me. And Ken would ever oversell anything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's no way that I would ever overhype my own show. There's no way... <laughs> That I would do that, and also <laughs> this evening, uh, Stacy is is going to be conducting her new uh, parlor game. It's called Food Face. Yeah. And uh, playing will be our 14-year-old intern, <laughs> Rui, and our 20-year-old ex-intern, yeah. well, John. Younger men love to be fed. I hear. That's so exactly right. That's that's what I'm gonna feed them. That's what I hear too. And older men, I guess. Okay. Well. So we're gonna. We will. We'll all find out. Well, it'll. It's. It's an experience that we'll all have together. Yeah. Are you got? We got so much show to get to. I think let's, we should. Let's we should get just, to it. Should we just get right to it? Yeah. Hit, by the way, just just feast your eyes. Listen to the sounds, but also feast your eyes on what's going on over there. There they are, everybody. It's the incredible, the stupefying, the amazing, Devious Intention! I'm 
Somebody there is someone watching Do you know the secrets that you bear? Can you feel the darkness trying to take you away? Closing in on you Calling out to someone that's not there You're falling in an endless bed No way out of here alone and I try No one hears you scream All is lost and there's no hope Caught up in the nightmare As is running through your veins Can't break from the nightmare You can't escape this twisted dream Wrapped up in the nightmare Nothing here is what intentions and this next song we're going to do is off of our debut uh, CD it was out a couple months ago and we're going to dedicate this one to Elsa because she looks like a wild child yeah
Intentions, everybody! Incredible. Hey, Devious Intentions, come on over here real quick, and we'll get to know them in the next uh, three, a lot three, three minutes to fifty. Going and, on here. Well, in three minutes, we're going to find out everything we need to know about Devious. And I hopefully That's about time. yeah, it's plenty of time. Here they come, everybody! Devious Intentions. <laughs> everybody, everybody, come on! That's okay with you. Yeah, of course. Everybody yeah, squeeze in. on the couch. Squeeze there in. Go. There's always yeah, room there on the go. couch. There's Amazing. always. <laughs> you got some drumsticks oh, also. Nice. That's no, fantastic. No, no, you got to get on the camera. For all the music oh, things I Bob, come on, yeah. come on up here, buddy. Here we go. Devious Intentions. Here's, here's what I need you guys to do. Uh, we'll go around here. Please state your, your names, A and B. Let us know if you've ever seen a ghost. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, what me? Was the question? Yeah. I guess I'm first. Yeah, you're uh, first. Denny, uh, yes, I think I have. Okay, can you describe it? Uh, it was my favorite color, clear. Okay, great. Next. Bob, I'm the drummer. And yes, I have. I married it. Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, next. You have how's your. Uh, Mickey the singer. I haven't seen one, but I've had one in my house before. There you go. Next. Uh, I'm the bassist. I go by Xanadude. Uh, ghosts, um, playoff losses past. He's, uh, okay. he's a Bruins guy. Go ahead. Why are you Xanadu? Why are you Xanadu? Uh, it's the nickname given to me by a local radio station. And, uh, wow, I, he's a loud talker. Yeah, I'm right. sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> nickname given to me by a local radio station. Uh, <laughs> and it's just been my Bruins persona, my outward persona, and just I live life to the fullest, and I call that man Xanadu. There you go. Oh, hey, uh, yeah. let's, let's talk about how the zombies showed up. What, where, are the, where do the zombies come in in this whole... 
well, con configuration of yours. One of our zombies on the end, named yeah. Celia Fate. She actually yeah. has her own Facebook page. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to look her up, it's her name is Celia Fate. Um, I don't know. We just we love horror movies. Yeah. We're actually going to be in a zombie movie. It's coming out. It's called what? Uh, yeah, it's called Plague of Zombie: American Invasion. Oh my God. I mean, it all adds up, doesn't it, buddy? It does. <laughs> Um, the pieces of the puzzle it's, it's coming, be coming out this summer. Um, it's it's by uh, Psycon Films. Um, we're, the band is actually in it. Um, I was before we had Mickey, unfortunately. But so um, are you you're playing in it? We're or playing in it. Yep. We we wrote two original songs with the uh, director of the movie. All right. But are you doing any acting as well? Yes. I, I play a bunch of zombies in the movie. Oh and I play gosh. a homeless person at one point. That's give fantastic. us the zombie face. Yeah. Let's let's see it. Oh, okay. Wow, really That's good. pretty good. Now give I, us. I'll pretend like Michelle's talking to me. Yeah, guy, you can touch can her. I touch you can it? you can touch. Sure. Can touch it. Oh wow. Yeah. I told Ken during the songs that I wish you were my roommate. Oh, okay. Well, can, you can work something You're out. You're interested. I don't know. I, I have a, like over 120 guitars. I don't know. You got room for that? No. Okay. Well, I'm going to build my own house with my guitars, actually. So. Out of the guitars? No. By the way, have you ever, have you ever tasted brains? No. Okay. Has I, any, have any of you guys ever tasted brains? No. Nope. Okay. Not even I'm you? I'm hoping not to have you, that experience. Up in that food taste? Yeah, it, it might be. There might be brains. Might be brains. We'll so have there, to there, see. There yeah. might be brains. <laughs> I right, look, we're, we're running out of time. There they go, everybody. It's TV's intentions. We'll talk to you. We'll talk to him more in a little bit. All right, see, see you well, we're gonna we're gonna hear some more from him and and talk to him more in a little bit. But we must we must continue on. And now uh, we have a portion of the show where uh, we're gonna. That guy, I think I'm deaf now. <laughs> Santa, once you meet Santa, Santa dude. don't Santa dude, dude, you don't you don't forget him, Santa dude. All right, uh, we've come to the magic portion of the show, which uh, is always my favorite. And uh, this guy, like I mentioned, I met this guy earlier this afternoon, and he really knocked me out, and I think he's going to do the same for you. Here he is, everybody. It's the Adam Parisi Sideshow! Yes! 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 Oh! <laughs> Apple, razor blades. Real, real razor. Don't do it, buddy. Don't do it, buddy. Don't, don't do it, buddy. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, no. No, not again. Not again. Oh! No, don't do it. Don't do it. Not again. It only hurt for a bit. That's three razor blades down. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. oh my God. Oh. Why? String, some string, everybody, some, some string. I mean thread. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, also. what's the difference? <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Thread. <laughs> thread. W thread went right in there. What? How? What? Yes! <laughs> Stupendous. <laughs> Stupendous. All right, is this uh, hot? Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. Oh, oh my, I'm not that tall. Come on now. There we go. So thank you guys, uh, everybody, for being here, everybody out there tuning in. Uh, we have about 300 people in the studio. You can't see them all, <laughs> but they are here. Make some noise if you're in the yeah! studio. And I'd like to show to you uh, the first magic trick I ever saw when I was eight years old. My grandfather showed me this magic trick, and I want to share it with you. It's very special to me. I hope you love it. 
He took a brown paper bag and he had an empty bottle. This was a glass bottle of Coca-Cola. He put the bottle inside the bag. He snapped his fingers over the top and the bottle disappeared. I know what you're thinking. Adam, how can you be so good looking and still do magic? <laughs> no, no, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. How do you make it come back? Look, it's back inside. It's back. It vanishes and it's back inside. You guys are taking this way too seriously. It was a cool trick when I was eight years old. It's not too cool now, but I thought if I could do real magic, uh, it might look like this. Thank you guys. Oh my God. Oh wait, applause, applause. applause. Thank you. That's my time. That's my set. Adam Parisi, everybody. <laughs> Come on over here, man. Come on over here, buddy. Oh my God. Oh, you know, we got mics over oh, here. Got, yeah. Oh. That one might not. What are you? Stretch. Mm -hmm. There yeah, you go. You right. did it. You did it, buddy. All right. All this right. guy's a professional. He knows sorry. how to do Hello, it. hello. Hey, everybody. Look, it's Adam Parisi. And uh, and look, we're all stunned now because I feel like this guy is, re I feel like this guy is really magic, Elsa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So do you need to ever eat food then? Or can you just get by on uh, yeah, stuff race, like that? I, I'll tell you this. My... Uh, my wife came in and she saw me prepping the razor blades for tonight, putting yeah. them in the bag. And she's like, uh, and I put the apple in and she's like, anybody else, I would think that's weird. But for you, no, it's just normal. Were you like uh, the kid in fourth grade doing magic tricks to try to impress the gir girls and that kind of thing? Uh, no, no. My uh, path was a little bit different. When I was okay. about uh, eight years old, I wanted to be a card cheat. It's all I ever wanted to do in my you life. You wanted to cheat at cards. I wanted to cheat at cards. I saw like those old Riverboat Gambler movies. I saw Maverick, and yeah, and I thought that was the coolest thing in the world. It's and probably I wanted... good money in cheating cards I, too. Yeah, and but then I got a little bit older, and I realized that like Riverboat Gambler hadn't been a profession since the 1800s. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You wanted <laughs> to figure out your... something else to do. So yeah, you, you just miss it by a, a few years. Yeah, just a few years. So I found my way into doing um, geek magic or okay. sideshow magic. Okay, razor blades. Yeah. Uh, fire eating, right. uh, glass eating, glass right. walking, things like that. Anything, anything super fun. I don't do tattoos. I don't drink. I don't smoke. This is my vice. Okay. By the way, can you cheat at cards now? I can very okay. much so. All right. I'm, All right, we'll try that later. Yeah, on. I'm New England close-up champion of. Uh, I'm close-up champion of Magic in New England two years in a row. What? All right. Yes. Last year was in Boston, Massachusetts. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Super fun. Do you bring your cards? Do you have your cards? Uh, I don't. I don't. God damn it. I actually this guy have a was... pack of cards. <laughs> this guy... Oh, no. Do you get... This guy was showing me card tricks that just uh, mystified me. Oh. Yeah, but no. It's okay. Well, we'll talk about it. <laughs> we won't show them. We'll just talk about it. But listen, uh, so the close-up magic... Mm -hmm. I mean, how did you do you figure out your own tricks or does some do you go to a magic school or what happens? Yeah, actually you have to skip school a lot. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I always wanted a rim shot. Live <laughs> rim shot. Uh no, um so a lot of guys create their own magic. Uh, I'm more of a uh, tinkerer. I take other guys uh, things that they produce and friends of mine share and uh, kind of make it my own, uh, workshop it um, and uh, just you know, add my own little flavor to it. People say that it's uh, sleight of hand, like it, yeah. it's distraction, mm -hmm. you know. But I swear to God, I was looking at this guy, and he made a, a deck of cards disappear right in front of my eyes. Magic. Yeah, it's they say uh, they say misdirection, but you actually can't misdirect anybody. Like, if I told you, don't look over there, you're going to look over there. Yeah. So instead, it's a redirection. I'd have, to, I'd have to have somebody beautiful like Elsa dancing over there, and yeah. then everybody's looking over there, and I could sneak an elephant on stage. Right. What is, uh, are there any tricks out there that you'd wanted to do, but you haven't been able to do them yet? Oh, uh, one of, uh, yes. Okay. Yes. All right. My wife won't let me do it. Okay. So this is, okay. Shout out to my wife. Yeah. Uh, it's a trick called um, Russian roulette. Okay. You there we go. You take, uh, you take uh, six cups and you have a metal spike under one of the cups. Oh. 
Somebody oh. comes <laughs> somebody comes up from the audience and mixes up the cups. You turn around yeah. blindfolded and start smashing cups. Right. I actually saw you, someone mess that up on stage. So yeah. if you go to yeah. if you go to YouTube, yeah. go to YouTube and look up magician spike and you will see a, a litany of guys messing it up, yeah. stabbing their hands or having spectators do it. Right. And Ooh, they stab their oh, hands. That's so much worse. So oh yeah. Oh. So it, it just that thrills me and <laughs> excites me. Not somebody else's hands. I'll do my own. That's the that's the most dangerous trick. That's it. That's I think the so. I think so. Because that was my next question for you is like what priority, how high a priority is safety for you? For me, it's very low, Elsa, as you know. Mm, safety same, is same. It's barely there on the <laughs> register for me. But for you, I wonder. Uh, yeah, I try to, every, I try to make everything uh, fail proof, uh, make it very safe. But there's always going to be something that goes wrong. But I feel like a, a, a guy that swallows razor blades, mm -hmm. I mean... Uh, the first couple of times, it's got to be pretty hairy. It's very scary. Yeah, yeah very scary. Um, and you just, you know, you just do it, suck it up, go through it, try to find somebody who's done it before you, and get some uh, real world experience. That's what f I do. Fire eating too, and I tell everybody if you got to do fire eating, there's books out there, there's things on the internet. Don't do any of that. Find somebody from either uh, Renaissance Fair or Media View Festival or somebody. Get a real teacher. Do you think that the uh, the art of uh, circus sideshows? Mm. You know, uh, is it coming back? Do you think? I think yeah, definitely. I th um, I actually. I, I feel I, like I feel like it's. I can feel it. Yeah. I, can, I, I hear about it more often. The, they don't bite the heads off of chickens anymore. No, that no, one. No. I, that <laughs> one is. I bet we. Can, I bet. I bet there's people out well, there. Well, who, who knows? Who knows? Next time I come on the show, we might have a live chicken. We might have. A I would, if, if anybody has a live chicken, bring it on down here. <laughs> this guy will, will bite the head off. A right live off. chicken that you don't care about. <laughs> no, no, no hurting animals. No, no, no. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, but definitely Sideshow uh, is coming back. Um, uh, I write about that on my website, uh, adamparisi.com. And uh, it's, uh, you know, a lot of people, there's a, uh, in Connecticut where I'm from, but uh, New England. <laughs> oh, shout out, shout out. Uh, I, shout out to Connecticut. The longest running, Route longest running New England um, uh, circus sideshow performance is Circus Delecti, which I happen to be a part of. Wow. And uh, yeah, it's super cool. It's come what else is happening in that, in that circus? Uh, we have uh, a guy who does push-ups on a katana blade. We have the bed of nails. We have <laughs> human chopping, uh, chopping board. Uh, somebody chops vegetables on them on themselves with a, a blade. Go-go uh, -go dancing and burlesque, everything. I can do that. That all, that all sounds like a good time. Back in the '90s, they used to have uh, the Jim Rose Circus on. Yes, you remember that yeah. guy? Yep. Mm -hmm. And they had one guy. He would uh, he would use this. He would have a stomach pump and he would pump his his own stomach, and then he would drink it back down. Oh. That was one thing. That was yep. one thing. Damn. Yeah, the regurgitator. The regurgitator, exactly. Yeah. That, that old trick. You know any regurgitators? <laughs> I, I, I don't know, no. Uh, the only, I'm uh, friends, I know Enigma, who was. Oh, you know Enigma, he yep. was there. Yep. And they had another guy, and I don't, it wasn't Enigma, it was a different guy, that would, uh, he would hang 20 pound weights from his balls. You remember yes. that guy? Yes. Strong balls. From his own balls. Damn. Yeah, the only one, the only one that, uh, I remember doing from that uh, set. You ever do was, any hanging from the balls? No, but we would do the. Uh, we would pass around a hat and collect uh, money, and uh, we would cash in. We'd try to get hundreds, and then we would take them and s we would staple gun them. To staple gun them. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So if somebody any, gives you a hundred, you'll staple gun it. Right I will. To I will do that right now. Anything for money. <laughs> <laughs> money over everything. Get a staple gun and get some. Uh, oh, is it only hundreds or only hundreds? Okay, you won't do it for fives. That's probably all we can handle. We're a public access show. This, this, right this, out in this economy. In this economy. <laughs> All right. Well, listen. This guy is uh, the, uh, one of the greatest magicians probably that has ever lived. Who is, who's, who's the guy that you look up to? Just passed away a couple years ago, Ricky J. Ricky J. Yeah. You guys know Ricky J? Anybody? No. No. Tell he's, us about he's, Ricky J. He's a magician's magician. A magician's uh, magician. One of the greatest... One of the greatest magicians, sleight of hand artists that ever lived, uh, was fantastic. You, he was in um, Boogie Nights. He was in a lot of David Mamet films. Um, so, you know, go look him up. He was the, he was the uh, camera operator in Boogie Nights. Are any magicians actually magic that you know about? It's a dumb question. No, there's. I've seen some things that I can't explain. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Oh yeah. You ever seen a ghost? Mm, no. Okay. No, I don't think so. I just my, my four year old just asked me the other day if ghosts are real. And I yeah, what did you, you tell? I him? had to tell her no because I don't want to freak out the four year olds. Okay, 
All right. There he is, everybody. Adam Parisi. All right, get out of here. We have to go abuse the interns. Here we go. All right, interns, come on over here. We'll find out, by the way. You got a little taste of Adam. We'll find out where you can see Adam uh, in just a little bit. But first, here they, co here they come. Yeah, come on over here. Look, everybody. Look, everybody. It's John and Rui, our interns. Ru uh, John actually graduated. He's now just part of the crew. Rui is still an intern. All right, it's time to play Food Face. Stacy, come on over here and explain your new game, Food Face, to everybody. Well, I'm here frightened. This is uh, terrifying. You should be. You should be. Here we go. Oh, here's my mic. All right, here you go. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go are behind here. you blindfolded. You can't see, right? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. So Hold on. I'm going to feed you sweet little boy's dinner. This better not be any seafood. And um, there's no seafood. Okay, good. That's my so, big no-no. There we go. You're you're going to put your face in the plate of food that I provide hence, for you. Hence food face. And you're going to consume it, and then you're going to explain. So say you're, John's going first. You're going to explain to Rui what it is you're eating without saying exactly what it is. So if it's if you're eating a sunflower, you can't say the word sunflower. Yeah. And then, and then <laughs> I say it's sunny I and flowery. I didn't think of a single food. I said sunflower. Yeah, sunflower is not a food. <laughs> and then this guy's supposed to guess what it is. Yeah. Could I describe it as being sunny and flowery? Okay, we got it. Yeah. You yeah. ready? Right. And then okay. Elsa, Elsa's going to hold up the sign so to see what it is. Just don't say the words. Okay. You ready? You got We're it. Let's start it out. Here we go. You ready? Be a razor blade. Right. <laughs> there's no razor blades. I don't You're think there's anything that can kill you. We we tried. Uh, where's Elsa? Where is Elsa? Where'd Elsa go? Oh, she went to the... Okay, I'll hold up the sign. It better not be no, my I meal. The, I can get the sign. They're in her skirt. Somebody grab me the sign. There we go. I would, but I can't see anything. Yeah, I know. Here we go. I got the Here sign. We go. Here we go. Here we go. Here All right. You ready? Here we go. There's... Can everybody see what that is? So, All John, right. you go first, buddy. Oh, no. oh, here comes Elsa. Elsa, grab that sign. I didn't realize that part of the bit. Yeah, you, were, you know you have to hold up the signs. Thank you. No All right. No one told me that. All right. <laughs> so everyone knows. Wait, you got to get some more. Just get your face in there. It's food face. There oh. it goes. Uh. There it goes. All right. Have a little of that. Have a little of that. And now, and now, John, please explain to Rui what you have in your mouth. Here we go. Hmm. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Mm. Okay. Yep. All right. You can't you, say the words. Don't say the words. Okay, well, I'm not going to. I know what it is. Yeah. You know exactly what it is. I, I, I'm, I, you know, I recognize the taste. I feel pretty close. Okay, here we go. Rui, I'm going to describe it as being sort of like, uh, it's a little melty. It's a little rich. Is it cat food slash dog food? I wouldn't melty know. Melty and rich, Rui. Uh, I've, never oh eaten, I've never eaten either cheese. of those things. Uh, no, it's not cheesy. Uh, um, <laughs> it's sort of sweet, but there's also that kind of salty aspect to it's it. Caramel. No, not, <laughs> not, Maybe describe something you would eat it with. Um, I would say this is the kind of thing that you'd eat with a spork. You know, because there's little spork. bits you want to... Oh, this th is awful. This bit... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rui doesn't know what it is, <laughs> but... But, uh, all right, so can we just see if okay, John can guess it? John, guess what it is. Um, is. I'm going to guess it's ham or some kind of deli meat mixed in with some sort of melted whipped cream or cool whipped yes! cream. Yes! Good job, buddy. How All right, it? put it, put something on Rui's face, and we'll see what this guy's got. Here we go. Here we go. What is what is that? Okay. No, that's not it. That's not it. That's that's it. Here we go. Show everybody what that is. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Didn't even keep going, Rui. Put your face in it, please. There you go. It's okay, Rui. There you go. There you go. All right. Do you got what it is? Do you know what it is? No, I don't. All right. Try again. Get your face in there. He looks like he's gonna yak. There you go. Uh, okay. yeah. Poor Rui. Oh man. No, no, no! Don't guess. Tell him what it is. It's like very creamy. <laughs> it's, very it creamy. feels like there's like rice in there. Uh, can I guess? It's yeah, kind of it. sweet. Is it tapioca? No. Uh, you're getting close. You're pretty close. Oh, my eyes there's are watering. A <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rui. Uh, oh, you got the Keep going, buddy. It's like really, really sweet and kind of like. Rui, are you gonna barf? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I, that's the best I can describe it. Really and sweet, it, rice okay, kind of creamy. Okay, what do you... Uh, All right, John, go ahead. Give a guess. I guess tapioca. Uh, you're, no, yeah. you're pretty close. You're pretty close. Uh, you're is it, is it just, just, it's just straight up rice there. pudding? You're, you're almost okay, there. Okay, so there yeah. is pudding. Dolce de leche. There's one more thing, Rui, on um, this dish. Maybe a milk, like milk? 
Come on. Nah, you're you're not even close. Do you want me to tell you what it is? Sure. It's corn on oh, pudding. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what sprinkles? We oh, bring those sprinkles. Okay. What sprinkles? Wow. Next. Oh, Hell of a con- Oh, this is for me, right? right. J- John is smoking I'm you so far. I'm actually gonna. You can put your face in this, and then I'm gonna kind of feed it to you. Okay, here we go. You got that? Put your you face in one? it. All right, there we go. All right. All right. All right. All right. There you go. Now, all right, yeah, now just, just, give, just, style, just give him a little bit. Just give him a little bit. Just give him a little bit. All right, there it goes. There it goes. Suck, suck it right. down. Yeah, suck it down, buddy. Come on. All right, I think I think he might have it. Okay. Hmm. So tell... Tell Rui what you just put in your mouth and Rui, see if Rui can guess. do you want some guess. water, buddy? Yeah. Here you go. Uh, oh. <laughs> Are you ready? Here we go. John, describe describe what's happening. It's it's thick. It's a familiar texture. A familiar if texture. You know, really? if, if you know what this food is, you're going to recognize the texture. But right. I was picking, Why, though? <laughs> you know what? Like, not in a bad way. Okay. Um, uh, there's something kind of like, I, I, I was getting a sort of savory kind of salty. What would you eat with it? Um, geez, I, I mean, like, one part of me wants to put the familiar part on toast. Yeah, I don't know what the okay. other thing All goes right. with. That's good. All like right, peanut butter. Oh, you're halfway yep. there. You're peanut halfway butter. there. Okay. The other, What's the other? The other here, why don't you get a taste of what the other thing is? Yeah, just go ahead. Taste, just taste the other part a little bit. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> what me? Me? No, John. Okay. John, so I can describe it to you. <laughs> go ahead. What is that, John? What is it? You know what it is now, right? Tell, mm. tell this kid what it is. <laughs> hmm. Are these? He doesn't just eat it, man. Are these pickled onions? No. Um. Go, what, vinegar. What's like a pickled oh. onion root? <laughs> Get that out of my mouth. <laughs> wait, oh wait. boy. Okay. Um. You're so close, buddy. Okay, so it's peanut butter. And? So it's pickled. It's vinegary, yep. right? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, like olives. Yes. yes! Peanut butter and olives. Hey! You know what? Believe it or not. This. this is incredible. <laughs> what else we got there? Believe Stace? it or not, that's the first time I've ever put an olive in my oh mouth. Oh my god, well. <laughs> thanks yeah, thanks yeah, a lot, Stacy. Do you think it'll be the last? <laughs> I only have tainted spoons. So, somebody, so oh, I'm gonna just it, feed this to you with yeah, my fingers. Is that okay? That's fine. Yeah, okay. that's fine. You know where her fingers have been. Come on. <laughs> there we go. That doesn't help. Alright. Put put that that was rough. Just put that in Rui's mouth and we'll see if he understands what is. Open wide, buddy. Open wide, buddy. Uh, you, you really go. need the Get context that for that. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't oh. bark. Just spit it out. Is it like I? All right, we're not. <laughs> Really? He barfed it up and it was like, is it ice cream? Uh, I don't know. Describe what that was to John, please. I'm very like squeamish. Um, you all right, Dude, you should have like... told us that. Uh, God, describe what you had in your mouth to John. I had it in my mouth for like a second. It was kind of like squishy, I guess. Squishy. <laughs> uh, <it> squishy, John? <laughs> Uh, Start firing, John. It's squishy. Squishy, like. Squishy, what else? What else? <laughs> kind of sweet. Squishy and kind of sweet. Um, John, what could that be? Squishy and kind of sweet. Um, is it like those like jiggly gummy candy breasts you get from Japan? What? <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of. Squishy and sweet. What? Sort Fucking, of. I don't know. Too yeah. specific. Yeah. Is it like um? What? I'm trying to think what's squishy and sweet. <laughs> Um, this is hard. As, like, as good as I can tell you, honestly. <laughs> is it like right. something like this is it like gelatin or something? It's gross. You got. It's, is, yeah. this, is this uh, just is this just like straight up plain gelatin? No. Fuck. <sighs> really? Anything help? else? Um, I, what okay. else was I in it besides him, like honestly. sugar? I don't know. Oh, I'd eaten all of so. Again, I had it in my mouth for like. Sorry, right, buddy. <laughs> Very, and I don't. That's not an invitation. Do you want us uh, to tell you what it was? <laughs> yeah, sure. It's it's flan. It's flan, buddy. Oh, yeah. do, do either of you know what flan? Yo, is? that's like that's like that that caramel pudding shit, right? Dude, not quite. Buddy. I like that. That's when close I'm not enough. and being force fed. S- well, really, Stacey. you won because you got peanut butter olives. Well, you we won, everybody. No, you got whipped. Oh, it's 50%. It's 50, so you 50. guys are going to have to split. You can take Now you can take off your blindfolds. There they are, everybody. John and Rui, what? Yeah. 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 
Yeah. Fuck I, champion. I think I, I think Rui deserves the prize, honestly. <laughs> oh, we can split it. Yeah, yeah here you go. Uh, Look. What do you got for us, sir? We we got you some beefaroni. Beefaroni. <laughs> and then some pear J to wipe it all down with. There you go, everybody. Yeah. So there you go. You want you everybody know what, John? wins. I I'm being generous here. You can take it. You can take the beefaroni. You know, Rui, you've been through so much. I think you, you should it. have the beefaroni. Yeah, Rui, it's for you. <laughs> okay. What about those poor assholes that just had to watch all that oh. happen? You oh, can I'm have sorry, the, buddy. the leftovers. Okay? Okay, okay. Food face, everybody! Let's hear it for the boys! All right, get out of here, you two. Uh, all right, there they go. Go back to work. damn blindfold. Uh, Rui and John, everybody. <laughs> food face. <laughs> As one of your uh, assignments, maybe you can re remove all this food from the from the floor. Yeah, now. help yourself. I'll, I'll take care please. of it, really. Don't worry about it. What a what a show this has been. Jeez. Are you ready for a little bit more rock and roll? I'm so ready. Are you ready for a more a little more devious intentions? Yes, please. One more time, everybody. <laughs> there they are. Fla flan, everybody. It was flan. Anybody wants to come up and sing, guys? Yeah, Rui, go up there and sing with that with the band, please. All right, <laughs> there they are, everybody. It's Devious Intentions. Yeah, Rui almost lost it. I want him to bar find it. <laughs> Here they are! Devious! Intentions! One, two, three, four. Chicago's always 
getting me in trouble, yeah. Beer goggles make a bragging man humble. Rui not only uh, got to won some beefaroni tonight, he joined the band. What a night it's been for him. That's it for Rui! That's it for Rui! He's <laughs> mortified and yet it's so cool. Yeah, he's, it's, come on, it's the greatest night of his life. Hey everybody, you know, uh, we've been having a great time, but it's that time of the show mm. where we gotta, we gotta wrap things up. We gotta do our, we gotta do our plugs, because everybody's here for a reason. They want you to buy their products and and see their shows. So Devious Intentions, come on back here. Adam Parisi, come on back here, and we will do all these, we'll do all these plugs. By the way, Bro. before we before we get to the plugs, let me tell you that uh, next week on this very show, uh, Joe Q, the Mexican Werewolf's new band. Uh, Yay, Hi, Joe Q! Hi Sparrow will be here, everybody. Yes. Uh, plus, Burlesque from, is it, uh, what, how do you pronounce your name? Uh, where, where, oh, oh, Mew Lunatic. Mew Lunatic! Yeah! And a spring fashion show, everybody, from our old pal, Neff. Our old pal, Neff. Yeah. I wonder if he'll, I wonder if he'll wear a cape. He might. All right, everybody, let's find out where to see everybody next. You know, Elsa's right next to me, so why don't we start with Elsa? Oh, uh, hey, get you a band Ooh, look at that. do both is this coming Friday. That's two days from now at the Rockwell in Davis Square, uh, 9.30 p.m. It is the show that combines TED Talks and live burlesque. To, pr uh, to prove that you can be both sexy and smart. Um, so yeah, you can get tickets at elsarai.com Friday, April 26th in Davis Square. Right. Yeah! Fantastic, fantastic. That's what, I, that's what I aspire to someday, to be sexy and smart. You are, buddy, in your so, own way. So far all I can... That's what I'm saying to myself anyway. <laughs> so far all I can handle is sexy, but I hope smart sometimes. Hey, let's find out <laughs> what is happening and where we can see the incredible Devious Intentions next. <laughs> Um, our next show, I think, is August, what, 16th? August 16th. August 16th. Per perfect. And August uh, Summer, the casino baby. down in Hull. We're playing with Hardwired, one of our favorite bands to play with. We love those guys. Uh, like I said earlier, we got a movie coming out that we're in. It's called Plague of Zombie, American Invasion. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong camera. Uh, uh, it's directed by, uh, by uh, Gary Medeiros. It's from Psycon Pictures. And uh, we're working on new songs for our new CD that hopefully will be coming out within the next year or so. And uh, that's about it for us. Wait, you guys did it, and you just guys released a CD just yep, a couple a, of months ago. Yep, we have a, a CD. It's got nine songs on it. Uh, all the songs nice. we played tonight were... You know they're, that's on it, and uh, we sell them at the shows. So we have a few left. So come on out to a show and pick up a CD. And by the way, let me also say something about this band, Deer's Merchandise. Merch everywhere. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible merch. Heels. Heels. Yeah. Throw out some other things that they can buy Thong. from Devious. Thongs. Thongs. We have thongs, T-shirts. T-shirts. Stickers. Oh, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, you're wearing the thong. I know. When did That's that marketing. Oh. Why doesn't anyone ask me to wear the thong? Oh. I want to take a picture, but that's kind of creepy. So how did that even? I'll, I'll take. We'll, we'll, how, we'll, 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 we'll how did that even? There's so much magic in the I room know, tonight. I know. Uh, I feel so great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. So there you go. That's plenty of places to see Devious Intentions. And don't forget to see them in the new movie, Plague of Zombie, American, I love American stuff. What is it called? American Plague of Zombie, American Invasion. It's a lot. American it's a lot. Invasion. Yeah. It's a lot. It's the fourth of a series. The original three were filmed in Argentina. <laughs> this is the first one in America. Fantastic. Right behind me is uh, the most magical man I've ever met, the incredible Adam Parisi. And I'm going to hand him this microphone, and he's going to tell you uh, where to find him next. 
Uh, follow me on Twitter at Adam Parisi, P A R I S I, or my website, adamparisi.com. Um, this uh, Friday, you can catch me at the Bijou Theater in Bridgeport, Connecticut. We are doing a uh, drag burlesque magic show. That sounds hot. Woo! That's so many, such so many things at once. Wow. Uh, and pole dancers, my favorite things, all in one show, really. It it seems a little overwhelming, but I love I'm overwhelming. Here for it. I don't know anything about uh, about hockey, but are the Bruins going to win? The Bruins are going to win. They're winning the Stanley Cup this year. We'll be hoisting it in Boston. Yeah! yeah! Woo! If they, if they don't if they don't it just a horror yeah. of horrors if they don't win what will you do? Uh, you do not want to be around me. No, um, no, Denny's no. actually canceling band practice, so he doesn't have to deal with me. Yeah. <laughs> So let's 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 go Bruins. Let's hope that Bruins! let's hear it. Go Bruins! Have you ever? I feel even, like he looks like maybe. Never mind. Have you what? ever have you ever even seen a hockey game? Yeah, I used to go see the Steelheads in Idaho. I'm serious. Okay. All right. Somehow. I don't know what that means. Do you know what the Steelheads are? I uh, imagine a minor league team, college team, yeah. uh, high school team. One uh, time. Supporting hockey, that's all I want to hear. The one time I went to a hockey game, I I was like on the glass and something violent happened right in front of me. And I spilled my wine in this lady's purse behind me because I was so <laughs> jolted. Like <laughs> and, uh, the exact same thing happened last show? <laughs> Similar. Yeah, that was my one hockey experience. Are you supposed to be drinking wine at a hot? You're not supposed to drink wine at hockey, right? Um, I mean, I they clearly, sell it. I mean, you're allowed I don't know to drink what whatever you want. I don't know what I'm doing a hockey game, buddy. I think nacho cheese or I was Right, nacho yeah. cheese and, and, and beer, I think. I don't know, man. I, it's a little too fancy for hockey. I you're guess saying I didn't belong, which I already know, okay? Go Bruins! Yeah! Hey. Hey, let's go. Let's go over there and see what's happening with those cats. Hey, the gala, the gala US. Stop by Debbie Records. Pick up our record. Bad news. You can check us out next May 10th with the Devil Twins, Nemeth, and North by North. Ah! Oh yeah. Well, I heard a rumor that we were doing a show right before that. Isn't that true? Yeah. Yep. All right. So Black Little Lagoon crawling out of the crypt into your faces at the Cantab on Thursday, May 9th with some other awesome bands. The Nuclears, Balookatherium, um, and, um, oh, Natty D's, and my dude, and, um, uh, <laughs> oh, it's like a hybrid, uh, the, the Gia, the Gia. You, told, you almost got the it, buddy. Teenager. No, 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 but it's a combination of the Gia, uh, Teenagers in the Full Form Street, it's like We're the Gia Strange Dangers or something like that, but yes, they're really great people. Ah! <laughs> Oh, I'll remember next week. Johnny's got one too. Yeah, just uh, Smitty, Smitty, and the Fez Tones. Uh, I'm drawing with them. We're playing a big gig at Opus in Salem on yeah. Friday, May 17th, with uh, Gene Dante and the Future Starlets and Goddamn Glenn and Parlor Bells. Thank you. At Ro Roxy, quick, yeah. Roxy. Roxy's got one. Here she comes. Hi. Monday, April 29th at 8 p.m. Uh, at the Midway Cafe, we've got Bad Poetry Shake, that's my band, yep. at, as seen from space, and The Freaks, it's 21 and up, $5 at the door. I heard a good uh, strip club story about Roxy earlier before the show. Yeah, you Roxy, go. you dog. <laughs> but I guess we'll talk about that later. For now. That's for next week. That's for next week. For right now, it's the end of the show. This is the part of the show, everybody, where we dance. And who's going to make us dance? It's the Black Leather Lagoon. <laughs>